What's up guys, TARS22 here. Welcome to Atomic Heart. Just to get right into it, sorry I had to configure a setting. New game. Oh, so this is a press X to confirm game. Okay. Good to know. I really love this place. Good vibes. The Chelome complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Can it, Glove? I've been here before. Will we make it for the speech? Oh, we've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. <laughs> and dedicated mind to work here. Would you care for some more soda, comrade? Uh, sure, thanks. Sausage. I don't know Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. They're still working on the robot's navigation system. Yeah, I noticed. I don't know why I thought that was a sausage, but I did. Wow, what a beautiful day. With your Volvas box entree. They're going haywire. What the hell did you do to them? They've been like that all day. Number three is bought. I need these houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. Give me your control code. I'll set them straight. Hold piggy, sweetie. Oh, thanks, Mum. Uh, the code's 0451. Okay, then. Get to work, you bums. Move it! Move it! Whoa, you know that code zero four five one is a in a lot of games. Enjoy the celebration. Oh my God, it's in. Uh, 
Good morning, my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. Waiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. You've been ordered to the laboratory, Comrade Major. There is a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions, for once. You dickhead. I was gonna say, ouch. Straight away. And on Monday. Well, Monday. I had my polymer treatment yesterday. I feel really great. And I've already started studying physics and chemistry. I was saving it for today. It's beautiful because you're wearing it, Xenia. And you? I'll be the cosmonaut. I'm gonna push those two in the water so bad. Comrades, Comrades assemble near the Brown Plate Memorial for a tour. Learn about the history of Facility 3826. Everyone here seems so happy and content. Just like in China. You've been to China, Comrade Major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit. And I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. I wonder why I had to go around instead of just straight through. Good job sweeping nothing. Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly-education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want. A university-level natural sciences curriculum, for example. And you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can! Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me, of course! Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule.
upgraded your glove with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system, especially your eyes, polymer retina. To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand, except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? Demon, be gone! <laughs> For your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would ya? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. Comrades, the address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov, is about to begin. I am Dmitry Sechnov, and this is Facility 3826. A warm welcome to your future. Today, we stand on the brink of the greatest event in the course history of, the of that high rise, Comrade Major. We find ourselves waiting for just, just one small step away from an amazing evolutionary victory that will profoundly change the world as we don't. No, I'm not exaggerating. So glad to see you're Just taking it easy, Comrade Major. The car is waiting. We must go to Dr. Like Sechenov's office for the access code. It's been left with one of his bodyguards. Yeah, Avengers. not to leave. I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just... so nice. Our elevator has arrived. At last, a network of humans and robots. Humans will be able to control machines with their thoughts alone. And, finally, we will be free to forget the difficult, tedious drudgery of unskilled labor and dedicate ourselves to science. Open up the ceiling here. On behalf of all at Facility 3826, I present to you the device of the future, the neural connector, thought. It will allow human Ooh, beings to be at the center of Collective 2.0, a network for all mankind together. Uniting the intellect of all individuals into a powerful mind free of all boundaries. Thanks to the thought neural connector, you will control robots with your mind. Mastering academic subjects with breathtaking speed. Accessing all human knowledge and, of course, combining it with your own individual discoveries. You will no longer need control panels, cumbersome communications equipment and loudspeakers, documents, electronic notebooks, etc. Talk about style. Science is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We can take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you? I get past them. No. Okay. Oh. 
Sechenov here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, what do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. All right. Secure your seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0 with yeah, parades I just came from in every city. It. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of Politics robotic workers from that. the... We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyors. How about some music? That's more like it. And why on like an island in the sky or something? I see you finally begun your assignment. And it's been less than an hour. Sehr gut. Jawohl, mein Fjord. What did you just say? I said the signal's on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. I think that is just an island Don't you think that sky. may have been a bit too much? Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Well, they're Dr. all Sechenov islands has in the sky. mine because he saved my life what on the operating the table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like flying pigs? Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, on the condor. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. I have a suggestion, Comrade Major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us? Shut the hell up, Glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? 
Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? That's a ground How ground. come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. I assume that was my glove talking to me the whole time, but I'm not sure. I was expecting the twins to have a different voice than they did. You know what twins I'm talking about, right? The two robotics? Two robotic women? Facility 3826's audio guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Estimated time of arrival is 11.47 a.m. Outside temperature, 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight breeze. You can now observe the Soyuz Granite Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. This technology was pioneered by the Chelemay Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedjansky. Okay. Yes. You can now observe the operations of an automated plant performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. Why should it matter if this car is a gas guzzler if I'm not driving it if it's just being flown around, you know? Directly below is Dr. Sechenov's computational center the main radio processing unit and control nexus for this network node. This is guys where the cars We are working. currently flying over Sunflower Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire VDNH, as well as the Friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the Maglev train lines. Those guys at the cars we're talking about. Maglev train stations someday. connect all of Facility 3826. Allowing brought, personnel you know. to travel from one complex to I another know. with comfort and ease. I know in real life, uh, the we are now are flying amazing. past the majestic Call of the Motherland monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II, and are now entering the grounds of the Vavilov complex, the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. But right you are now, now observing the Soviet in, Sickle in, Monument, designed by sculptors Lena Bukhina like and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously nope. erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network with the help of robot builders. I don't know why they're important IRL, Note that so. this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. Anyways, no IRL. Major, the drop is initiating combat maneuvers. Uh, initiating what? For real? Watch out! What am I supposed to do about it? What the? Please do not unfasten your seatbelt until the vehicle is I don't know why they're. I don't know why they're important. In the game. You have reached your destination. You are now at the laboratory gate of the Navigation facilities. Have the last day. Take my hand, Comrade Major. I will escort you to the Vavilov complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. Oh! What the hell?
hell are you doing, you lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator is now up. Fuck off, bitch! Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Dropa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again. Oh, help me, Comrade Major. I'm falling. What the shit? Fuck. You're not falling, you're being abducted. That was an interesting opening. I already like the game. Then again, I do have some gripes with it, but I'll save those until the end because I want to see if they get fixed or if they somehow uh, adhere them into the game or something, you know? We'll save my negative comments until later. then I'll be back in about an hour to continue streaming this game. So I'm going to Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, slap the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, hit the bell. You know the deal. And I'll see y'all later. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.